Uh, this is the clicker here. Great. So I'm uh, Gustav. I'm the CEO of In My Bag. We're a gadget insurer that people love. I know it's actually true. Uh, so basically, uh, before there was, uh, the world was in this place where there was, people were used to having uh, terribly slow service on their things, basically. Uh, whether you were on taxis, whether you were watching TV, whether it was insurance or banks, you know, you received your banking statement statements in paper every month, and uh, people were happy with it. That's what they got, so that's what they were expecting. Now the world has shifted, and people just have a much higher expectation of service, of convenience, and all these kinds of things. We see it in taxis with Uber, we see it in TV with Netflix. Who actually sits and waits for 6 p.m. to watch their favorite show? Certainly not me and a lot of other people. We have uh, uh, p companies like Monzo, which not only builds a brand around uh, people getting excited about a bank, but if something happens with your, with your card, maybe you lose it, you can turn it off, find it, and then turn it back on again, as opposed to spend an hour uh, on the phone with your bank to cancel your card and then wait a week to get your card back. In My Bag does the same thing for gadget insurance. So if you lose your stuff with, uh, with uh, In My Bag, uh, you get your stuff back between a couple of hours and uh, 24 hours. That means that uh, if you take some of our competitors who take seven to 10 days, uh, we are a much, much uh, faster option. So this is a not to scale graph of uh, uh, what happens when you lose your stuff under In My Bag or our competitors. Basically, uh, we think that nobody wants to sit in this time waste zone uh, because it's just, there's just no reason for it. Uh, if you see here, the average takes seven days and we take, uh, we take four minutes to pick up anything that is not on the phone. And we, take, uh, we have an average of, uh, the fastest we've done a, a claim is in an hour and the, the usually it takes around 24 hours if you're somewhere else. So uh, we put ourselves in this view that we are very close to Monzo in uh, the way that we are uh, building our business. A, because we are building a business that uh, uh, our uh, customers can love. We're building a, a brand of, uh, I, I used to work at Google, so I just stole their, their, this thing they told us that earn the love of your customer. Uh, and also we have a system that is completely different from everywhere else. Uh, we focus, I'm running through this quite quickly, uh, but uh, the reason we are focusing, we are focusing on freelancers and SMEs. The reason for that is A, of course, freelancers are growing much faster than SMEs, but the view is that uh, I come from a big company and many other people in my, my business do as well. And if you work for Google, if you work for McKinsey, you work for a bank and you lose your phone, it doesn't really matter. Someone from IT will rush down and give you a new one with all your data covered. If you work for yourself as a freelancer or as an SME, uh, that doesn't happen. In fact, you're totally screwed and uh, we make sure that that problem is uh, solved. So we take care of your data and your, uh, and your actual device. We've actually had someone who spoke at a conference exactly like this just up in uh, Liverpool. He was coming onto stage and realized that he'd forgotten his, uh, his computer, called us and said, you know, I have a presentation in an hour, what do I do? We got him a, a laptop uh, within the hour, he pressed three buttons, had his presentation come up and got onto stage. So, I talk about earning the love. Why do I talk about that? Well, if you ask uh, yourself or your friends uh, what do they think about their insurance company, uh, everyone kind of, maybe they're indifferent, that's the best thing, or they're very, very negative. And I think that there is an opportunity here for us to go through the product of gadget insurance to earn the love of our customer in a way where people are excited about us. You know, if someone from Monzo Bank uh, stood up here two years ago and said, I'm gonna make a, uh, a banking product that people get so excited that they Instagram the fact that they just received a piece of plastic where they can go and buy things. Something that they actually already had before. That to me is exactly what we're trying to do here. So I've had someone who called Jelen, which is a fantastic name, email me and say, Gustav, first of all, I love the product and I love the brand. I have no idea who this guy is, but this is the kind of things that we do. We had someone who uh, uh, went on, uh, on Twitter and said, is this an insurance company with an actual personality? And the idea here is that if people have a personal relationship with their with their insurance company where everybody else are terrible, that is a huge opportunity for us, particularly when we're going into freelancers and SMEs that are very fast growing. So we get a little bit more notice here. There are a lot of people who like us, uh, a little bit of the economics of our business. So we take, uh, well, uh, yeah, we take 30% uh, plus a uh, 15% uh, commission. The, uh, the really important number here is that uh, currently we have an LTV of around 360, 400 bucks. We think we can move that to 1,000 for a lot of really interesting reasons. Uh, 
and that will be that will be important onto this slide. So this is basically our go-to-market strategy where we started going online. You know, my background is from there, and we really quickly realized that uh, unless you have 20 million bucks, you're never going to go uh, and win on Google and Facebook. So the better ways to do it is to integrate yourself through these uh, uh, these third parties, basically. So we have an API that goes to the point of sale of a lot of different. Uh, uh, online stores, so Kudos is a phone cover uh, producer, for example, so every time you get a phone cover, it's natural, maybe you want insurance as well. These people have uh, similar type of logics to uh, the people that we're looking for. We have these step change deals, which really have the opportunity to take our business from a, uh, a great business to an incredible business. This is where we have uh, we have 36,000 plus uh, policies on the table where uh, two entities would then buy those uh, policies. And that means, you know, if we go back to that 400 to 500 to maybe 1,000 pounds per, uh, per person, that puts us in a potential of somewhere between 18 and 36 million, uh, million pounds worth of uh, value plus recurring revenues, et cetera, straight away. So this is a little bit of a, a graphic around uh, the, the different sales channels. So if we have only passive deals, we, we go OK, nothing too exciting. If we go active deals, we're doing really well. Uh, we, we break even way, way before we get to the end of this graph uh, if we do step change deals. Now keep in mind, we only really properly went, uh, went full blast in September. So after two months, having the potential of becoming a 50, mil 50 million pound company within um, six to nine months to me is, is pretty cool. Uh, this is our team. Uh, my chairman has uh, ran the, the insurance business at Bain for 25 years, so he knows everything about insurance. I know nothing about insurance. Uh, I'm from Google. Uh, and then we have some very, others, uh, very smart young people on the team as well. In terms of call to action, I follow your lead. Uh, we've raised uh, a couple of rounds, uh, two rounds of 300 before. Uh, at a uh, little valuation of 1.4, uh, we are now raising 500 at 2.5. Uh, so if you look at a couple of comparables uh, within our industry, we're actually very conservative on our numbers. We're conservative on our uh, valuation because we genuinely think that we can come back with 20 million, uh, 20x uh, in, uh, in well, within a year possibly. And that's me.